Welcome to everything Amtrois, I am CA and in this video I am going to show you how to uninstall my SQL and also remove all of its configuration files from your computer. So watch this video till end and let's get started. I had uploaded a video on how to reset the root password of my SQL but it required you to have a fully functional MySQL installed onto your system. But I got a lot of comments of people saying that they have uninstalled MySQL and are facing problems while reinstalling it. The MySQL installer was asking them for the current root password for the setup of MySQL server so the installation never completed. This is because even if we uninstall MySQL, its configurations are still present on our system. So I'll show you how to uninstall MySQL and also remove its configuration files so that you can install it again normally from the beginning. So I have my SQL running on my computer. Let's uninstall it. So for that you need to open control panel. So right click on the start menu button and then click on run. Now here you need to type control and then press enter. Now on the top right corner you need to type uninstall. And now you need to click on the programs and features option. Here will be the list of all of the applications that are currently installed onto your system. So you need to click on name field in order to sort it alphabetically and then scroll until you find a bunch of MySQL applications. Now you need to uninstall each of these MySQL entries from here. So for that you need to double click on each of them and then click on yes. And it will take some time and will uninstall the MySQL application that you have selected. You will need to do this for each and every MySQL entry here. So this will take some time. So once you have uninstalled all of the MySQL applications, you now need to delete the configuration files. So close control panel and now you need to go to this PC if you are on Windows 8 or above and you need to go to my computer if you are on Windows 7 or below. And now you need to go to C drive and now here we need to go to the program data folder but by default that folder is hidden in Windows. So what you can do is you need to click on this address bar and you need to add this particular text along with the text already present there. So it will be C colon slash program data. So once you have written this on the address bar, you need to press enter on your keyboard and we will be inside the program data folder. Now you will be seeing my SQL folder here. Double click to go inside it and now we will be having the my SQL server folder here. One thing to note at this point is that if you don't have any table or database important to you that you have created in MySQL, you can delete this folder right away. But if you have some important databases or tables present that you don't want to lose, then we need to take a backup. So for that, double click to go inside this folder and then go to the data folder. Here, these folders are the names of the databases that you have created in MySQL. I have a database whose name is useless and I want to take the backup of this particular database. So what I will do is I will copy this folder and I will paste it onto desktop or any other safe environment. And if we want to use this particular database again in the new installation of MySQL, then what we can do is move this folder to the exact location from where we had copied it. That is C drive and then program data and then MySQL and then my SQL server folder and then data folder. So once you have taken the backup of your databases, return back to the my SQL server folder. Now we can delete this folder. So right click on it and then click on delete. And this will delete the configuration files of my SQL from our computer. So we have successfully and completely removed my SQL from our computer. Now if you want to install a fresh copy of my SQL, 
you can watch my video on installation of my sql i will be giving the link of that video in the description as well as in the info cards above so this was all for this video if you have any queries you can post them in the comments and you can also reach me out on instagram my instagram id is on the screen i will try to answer your questions as soon as possible if this video was helpful to you don't forget to leave a like and also subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get notified whenever i post videos like this thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one